Today I have a quick episode for you about a small but crucial part of the editor, the layers panel. By default it's collapsed in the bottom right corner and you can grab it and drag it up and it will reveal all the layers that are currently on your page. Right now there's only the background layer, so there's nothing else to see here, but when I go over to the text menu for example and add a title, this will also automatically be added to your layers panel. Each element that you add to your page will appear as its own layer in the panel. So if I add an additional triangle, that will also appear in the layers panel. All right, let's add some color to this to make this a bit more appealing. Now the basic principle of the layers panel is this. Every element that is above other elements in the layers panel will be on top of other elements on the design canvas. What does it mean? It means that if you move this triangle over this title, the title will be hidden behind it. And now if you would want the title to be in front of the triangle, you simply have to move it above the triangle in the layers panel, just like this. And that is basically what the layers panel does. But I want to give you another quick tip. Sometimes, when you've added a lot of different elements to your page, it can get a bit crowded and hard to click the element that you want. Let me show you. All right, we're going to add a template page. You have to go to the template menu up here and then we'll scroll down to this template about fashion. We're going to create a new page and click on the template and now we have a top five collection of this season template on our page. But I'm in a pickle because I don't want to write about the top five collections of the season. I want to write about the top four collections. So I delete part five and I'm going to move around these elements a little bit to make it look nicer. So I've rearranged my page and actually need to change this from top five to top four. But now I also want to move around these numbers a little bit. But anytime I try to click on one of the numbers, I only select this little burst around it. And that's because this burst element hides the number behind it. And you guessed it, that's because the burst element is in front of the number in the layers panel. So if your layers panel is collapsed, you just need to go here down to the right, drag it up and select the number that you want to select. And now you can do whatever you want with it. And of course, you can also select multiple layers in the panel, which can come in handy if you want to move two things at the same time. So you just shift click here and now you have both selected the number and the burst and you can drag and move it around the page. All right, that's it. As I said, this was a quick one. Let me know if you have any questions and as always, have fun creating stories.